One of our favorite things about Oahu is there are so many amazing restaurants. You can go from kind of hole in the wall little places to fine dining to trendy and upscale. They've got it all here. But we think when you come here, you are looking for an experience. So here are our five favorite food experiences on the island. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. This is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Plus, as a bonus, we have one of our favorite Oahu foodie families joining us and stay to the end because we share some of our other great favorite restaurants around the island. All right, we're moving because we're always late. Don't know why. We got a nice reservation tonight in Waikiki. I'll show you where. Good for special occasions like anniversaries, honeymoons, birthdays, all that good stuff. It's a nice place to come in Waikiki. experiences we always like to throw in like a fine dining one so this is fine dining but the most important thing here is fine live music when you come here to Hawaii so you got great live music we really recommend like live Hawaiian music and then also if you have hula dancing so we are a house without a key at the Hale Kulani luxury resort in Waikiki you can come here for drinks their Mai Tai is world famous and they always have live music like live Hawaiian music so it's a lot of fun it's a relaxing experience you can come here for cocktails, poo-poos, or dinner also. And if you're looking for a really nice fine dining, they got La Mer here also. Both great places for anniversaries, honeymoon, any special occasion you like. Oh, thanks, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. It's fun to find a place right on the beach. The monster probably have the beach bars under a banding tree right on the beach. Here at the Hale Kulani, you got these beautiful views of Diamond Head up there. Great for sunset. And at sunset, will the dancers come out? It's mango season. That sign is no joke. A lot of mangoes. You hungry, Masita? That's a big piece of fish right there. That looks great. All right, so for this unique food experience, we are up here on the North Shore at the Smoking Bore in the Coconut, and then we're going over to Mana and Pua Wine Bar. And this wasn't our recommendation. We got a foodie recommendation from the foodies themselves, Ohana Eats. What did you guys get? Okay, so we actually got the grilled um, seared mahi salad. So we did, I think, almost the same one as you. We got a burger on their brioche, and then also the panko crusted mahi, and it's always um, with rice and I think mac salad and furikake on top, and of course some tartar sauce on the side. Nice. Yeah. And then tell oh. us about the drinks. So Vin got a popping boba drink. So this is probably one of the funnest drinks that they have here. It's mango, but then the little boba pop in your mouth. And then I got myself a collagen boost, which is mango and mac nut. However, Doe wasn't digging it, but it is one of my favorites. Nice. Okay, stay with us. We got one more place, a little wine bar to hit up. Still on the North Shore. Gina and the whole family is coming with us on this one too. Check out their channel. If you're coming to Oahu and looking for great food places, you gotta watch their channel. We have a link to their channel in the description below. Follow me, Henry. That's it. Do you guys want to sit with me? Yes, this is super tacky. All right. I know, this is like a little overkill, it is. isn't it? it is. <laughs> is this too much? You don't have to use it, remember? I know. That's what he always tells me. All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Really about this.
Oh, that's lovely. So the grapes come from California, but then they infuse a lot of Hawaiian flavors and ideas into the wine. I feel like I'm ready to interview Gina right now. But welcome. So it's really nice. You go to the smoking bar and the coconut for lunch, and come over for wine tasting. Because you didn't know that wine tasting here in Haleiwa, right? Because they got shave ice and they got shrimp trucks, but hey, try something different. Mm. 100%, really nice setup too. Mm -hmm. Super light, not super um, sweet, but definitely clean and pairs well with their uh, cupcakes. Like cupcakes, because well. the kids are getting cupcakes. Here we go. No wine for the kids. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys. Oh, that looks great. Watch. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to a cacao farm. We love farm tours. So for Oahu, this is a unique food experience. It is 21 degrees estate. It is on the Windward Coast. We are in Kahalu right now at 21 degrees estate. This is a cacao and chocolate farm tour. It's called 21 degrees estate because cacao is grown only in that tropical region. That is why Hawaii is the only US state that can grow cacao and they make some of the best cacao in the world. They keep winning all these international competitions. This is a two hour farm tour, one of the best ones on Oahu. To be honest, Oahu doesn't have a lot of farm tours. And we love farm tours. We go do tons of them on Maui and the Big Island. And this one is great because they show you the bee farm. They show you all the canoe crops they have growing around this jungle of a farm right here. Here you are. This is the honey growing here on the farm. Yeah. The honey was very different. It was very flowery. It was actually very good. I feel like I'm becoming a honey connoisseur. Eric has been on the Maui Bees Tour and the Big Island Bees Tour. And Same now, with this guy. And now, what do you think? What do you Oahu. Taste? So what's interesting one finger? About this That's one. it? Oh, it's a five, it's ten, it's a ten. ten. <laughs> so Michael and Maria have been here for eight years growing cacao. They're up to 700 trees, 12,000 pods in the last harvest. Each pod makes about two ounces or 60 grams of chocolate, like a chocolate bar. And right now we're gonna go and eat some raw cacao and hopefully some finished chocolate. Does that sound good? Finally, finally. Now crack this open and we're gonna see where your chocolate comes from. Come on, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much. No. <laughs> That was nice and sweet. That was really sweet. You got bite in though. I'm trying to get the bitterness. Oh, and give it a sniff. You're probably going to notice it's starting to melt in your fingers. How's that? Good? At the farm. Yeah, that's good. The first Nibs, in the dead of summer, they suggested the grinding so these with your coffee beans to make like a nice mocha. Do you notice the creaminess in mm. it? Kind of like a milk chocolate. So the flavors that we're trying are so interesting. A turmeric one, one elderflower one, one, I think a rose yeah. one I just red had. Rose. Yep, yeah. red rose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. If you're looking for more place to eat around the island, check out our itinerary. Our Oahu Wayfinder itinerary has a quick hit section with all of our favorite restaurants. Plus, we work the restaurants into these great excursion days out on the island. We have you covered on where to eat. Where to eat, what to do, we have it all. Head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu and check it out. On to the next adventure. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Good, how are you? Good, uh, three and a half. Okay. We are in Kaka'ako right now, which is great. You check out the murals and they change frequently, which, and there's tons of breweries around here. You have Aloha Brewing Company, Honolulu Beer Works, Waikiki Brewing Company, and we are at Hanakoa Brewing Company right now. All these places brew the beer right in the warehouse, hence it's a brewery, which is great, and you also have a lot in the area around it, which is really nice too. Here at Hanakoa Brewing Company, they have 21 beers right now on the menu. It's a massive menu, but they only have three that are always on there. The rest change out constantly, whatever they're brewing. And they got like ciders and sour beers and seltzers. They got all types of cool stuff here. 
and they have a great food menu too. Big selection of stuff, especially like the ramen. And we're here for Taco Tuesday, so I got the tacos. <laughs> He's coming back, he's coming back. So coming from Maori, there's only a few breweries on the island. So it's nice to come to Oahu because you get so many breweries and they're like relatively new and they have really good food and it's a nice experience and it's a fun thing to do. I know you're on holiday, I'm sure you have lots of breweries wherever you're from, but coming here, combining with the murals, getting the good food, you're right in Honolulu, it's a nice experience. That's why it's on the list. Let the pile begin. A great, unique experience right here in Honolulu is in Chinatown in the Arts District. You have legend seafood for dim sum. So you come for dim sum lunch. We look like total tourists right now just filming this, but it's so much fun. <laughs> this is so much food. I know. Uh, I want cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're cooking on the little food part, buddy. Oh, those look good. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. selling us. I like it. I respect that. So for dim sum, these ladies come around pushing the cards. Lots of good food. They're about three to five dollars each, and they stamp your card. You pick what you want. They got you know roasted duck. Their buns, and they even fry up hot stickers here too. You can find something for your whole family here. A lot of big metropolitan cities in America have a Chinatown, but I love the one here in Honolulu. It dates back to the plantation era, where a lot of the Chinese Americans would come over. It's still a living, breathing Chinatown, full of history and culture. The pot stickers are all done. Gotta go. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> and the Chinatown. Of other places to eat in Chinatown if dim sum isn't for you. So head down to North. So head down to North Hotel Street. You'll find a lot of trendy hip restaurants and lounges around here, like O'Kim's, the Dragon Upstairs, the Livestock Tavern, Chin Chin Manifest, Domo Cafe, Lucky Belly, the Pig and the Lady, the Noodle House Bar. There's a lot to eat down here. Bet. Dim sum's not your thing. You'll find something else good to eat. Yeah. A bonus unique Hawaii dining food experience is Highway Inn at the Bishop Museum. The cafe at the Bishop Museum has Highway Inn. They've been around since 1947, serving up authentic Hawaiian food. So if you can't make it to a luau, you can get really good food here, plus learn all about the natural history of Hawaii, Polynesian Hawaiian history here at the Bishop Museum. So it's a nice, fun, like morning or afternoon out for you. They serve up, like I have Kalua pork, they got veggie wrap, Henry got the croissants, can't make it here, Highway Inn also has places in Waipahu and also in Kaka'ako. Kaka'ako is a neighborhood next to Waikiki. Enjoy. Jake and his brother Max founded this place. All right, I won't tell you about it. Let's go check it out first. So this is Kaimana Shave Ice. Uh, this shop was started by my brother back in 2018. Uh, my whole family grew up in the house back here behind the shop. And so we're natives to Haleiwa. We always had a ton of shave ice growing up and loved it. Um, but we kind of noticed like the flavors were really kind of artificial, really high uh, sugar content. Some more earthy flavors with cacao and matcha, and then it comes with mochi and sweet cream on top. So my brother was thinking about something to do a few years ago and decided he wanted to start a shave ice shop here, but focus on kind of like a healthier approach, all natural ingredients, no artificial ingredients. He makes his own ice cream in house as well. It's kind of more of like a gelato really, it's, it's higher quality. and. Um, and we just want to serve the best shave ice possible. And we also have this little walkway down by the river. Um, so we hope you know folks can come and enjoy shave ice, then hang out by the river and relax and add something to their day. All right, this is their acai bowl flavor. Oh, that is that is very flavorful. That is delicious. It does taste very fresh. Not gonna lie. So we really enjoyed that, and as we were walking out, Max stopped me and said, hey, if anyone who watches this video wants to come up for some shave ice, mention that you, they saw it on the Hawaii Vacation Guide, and they will get 10% off their shave ice order. So thanks so much, Max. Okay, we got another good one for you. We're on Kuhio Avenue in Waikiki. 
and this place is going to give the other restaurants a run for its money. It's Sato Seafood is across from Paia Fish Market, the Layla Hotel, and Murigami Udon, which is next door. Just opened, great reviews. It's poke, if you love poke, they got three really popular poke bowls to choose from. It's very fresh, great flavor. I'm a big fan, and I love poke. Where to eat, what to do, we have it all. Head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash oahu and check it out. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.